So for um, the interkingdom DNA transfer, uh, mostly involving uh, for uh, involved uh, the bacteria, and since bacteria is uh, can is everywhere and can uh, associate to um, all kind of uh, eukaryotes. And for bacterial fungi, um, HGT, there are documented cases um, a different um, uh, enzyme and and basically the the evidence is from the incongruence in phylogeny, uh, which means that uh, if you sequence the particular gene uh, from the fungi, and if you uh, run the breast or run the uh, phylogenetic analysis, and you will find that it's embedded within the clay of all the bacterial genes. And in this case, you will see, well, this must be transferred from bacteria, and um, or you has be has to be a lot of um, um, massive losses. Uh, for the particular gene in the fung fing uh, in fungi, and in some cases it's still possible, and but um, it's more likely it's uh, it's bacterial origin, and there's a recent paper uh, published in uh, Chancing Genetics in 2010, and so these two authors show that um, there are more than 700 genes uh, in in fungi. They are uh, have bacterial origin, so quite a lot of events happen um, between bacteria and fungi, and they are, and as the as the uh, author claim, there should be much much more uh, cases. It's uh, in in nature, and um, we just don't really look at uh, very detail before. So this is a, uh, the the figure from the the, the paper. Well, anyway, um, this is a phylogenetic tree showing uh, um, the fungi phylogeny, and um, the tree is is not so good. But anyway, um, so the uh, the line here are the different um, degree of color the blues. Of the lines uh, sh basically show the uh, horizontal gene transfer events uh, within the particular clay, and um, basically these are all fungi. And you can see here uh, there are a lot of blue lines, which means these uh, horizontal gene transfer are mostly concentrating on this clay compared to uh, like um, zygomycota or basidiomycota, and so a lot of uh, HGT uh, happened uh, within the ascomycota. And in a particular group called Pezizomycotina. Anyway, this is a big group, and this that is the picture. And there are some examples for bacteria animal um, DNA transfer, like uh, in PAPD protein in in human cell, and uh, it was uh, documented a couple years ago, and um, also the PGI gene, and Again, those um, evidence are from the incongruence of the, uh, the, the phylogenies. But um, the most well-known cases uh, for prokaryote eukaryote um, HDT probably is this case, the uh, agrobacterian tumor patients or agrobacterian uh, transforma transformation in angiosperms with angiosperms. And th there are a couple of Species for Agrobacterium, and it has been studied in very, very detail, and uh, including the, all the mechanisms for the DNA transfer, and um, and also there are some evidence that um, uh, there's uh, some particular genes already uh, transfer um, from um, Nicotiana and also from uh, in in uh, Agrobacterium. So this is a kind of very special case for uh, the, the DNA transfer. And the um, alcohol mediated transformation is, uh, um, is uh, very important, not only because it has some economic uh, impact on the, the fruit tree uh, in particular. Uh, it will cause a, a crango uh, on, on tree. Usually it's near the root, uh, but in this case it's uh, um, it's quite high. This is a picture I took uh, at UC Davis, and this is uh, the SAM picture showing the uh, attachment of algal bacteria to um, a carousel, uh, as far as I remember. 
and this is the the p line um, formation that is uh, uh, supposedly to be essential for DNA transfer for from bacteria to um, to plant cell. So since this mechanism is very well studied, so I like to go through you uh, go through the the slide very quickly on how how this uh, DNA was transferred. So basically, uh, as we mentioned that um, uh, the crangle is uh, a lot of uh, cell preparations like a tumor cell uh, on uh, on the surface of the uh, the stem of uh, of the plant. So um, the preparation of this, um, the tissue is basically from a cytokine uh, effect. And this cytokine gene was from a, a particular piece of um, DNA, it's called tDNA, which was originated from bacteria. And on the left side, it's, it is an enlargement of the bacterial cell, algobacterial cell. On the right side, there's the plant cell. So, um, Basically, uh, when the algobacterium uh, sends the, uh, the plant signal, uh, the, this is a good host, then um, it will trigger um, signal trans transduction. It's a two component uh, system here. And you basically will, uh, will activate the VO genes um, on the TI plasma, which is uh, um, uh, very important for the transformation. And on the TI plasma, there is a piece of uh, DNA it's called the tDNA, which will be uh, directed by VLD2 and the uh, uh, type 4 secretion system and to the host cell. The host cell here um, will need to have a very special um, uh, system that the tDNA, or I should say the algobacterium, uh, you use this particular, uh, you can say the hijack the, uh, the very special system. There's a nuclear, uh, nuclear localization signal. And to bring this piece of DNA and integrate into the nucleus genome. And this piece of tDNA um, has usually have, in nature, have two um, end lines which can produce cytokinin and also open. And uh, the open will um, be transferred back to bacteria for um, uh, for the metabolism and opening is an arginine like um, compound. So basically, the, the strategy for the bacteria is to to um, let the host cell to uh, generate a lot of um, uh, opening and it, it will create a lot of cytokine. So there's a cell proliferation. So there are a lot of cell they can produce the opening. And then um, the bacteria will use this uh, opening and to uh, grow. So this is the agrobacterial system, but this is, does not transmit it, uh, the DNA um, through to the next generation for the host plant. So basically, the host plant will not take up the DNA forever. Only the part, uh, the lower part of the, the root uh, or the stem. Uh, where I have this proliferation, so it's kind of a disease to the plant, but um, it's quite diff it, there's no permanent effect in, in this case. So it has to, um, but this has a very special mechanism to transfer the DNA, and this is why um, right now the, I think many of you are aware that in biotechnology we use t uh, alcobacterium to transfer the DNA to the host host cell. So this is um, I probably talk a little bit too much about it. Anyway, so uh, as we see uh, many of the case here, and so uh, here we'd like to show you how are going to detect the horizontal gene transfer. And basically, the, the major um, way um, is to compare the gene, spe uh, gene phylogeny and also the species phylogeny. If, if there is uh, any incongruence um, on here, uh, on the two, d two phylogeny, that means that there is something going on. So this particular gene maybe have a different history than the species, gene, uh, species tree. So this is the, the basic, um, basic idea. And uh, the other way uh, we'll probably be briefly mention that uh, usually um, the, the, the following DNA uh, or um, the new DNA uh, piece of DNA will have a, uh, a different GC content than the, the other part of the genome. 
or uh, a different codon usage um, compared to the other part of the genome. But there are some difficulties um, to actually pinpoint that this is uh, a very special piece of DNA. And we'll demonstrate a little bit at the end uh, on how are we going to uh, deal with this kind of situation. Okay. And also, uh, in some cases, uh, if you um, know uh, in a particular phylogeny, uh, the gene grouping is according to the same area. Uh, for example, those um, genes you from the isolate from Japan are grouped together, and um, doesn't matter if it's uh, in a, a fungi or in a bacteria or something like that. Then there's some problem. Uh, there might be some HGT happen in this area since they are uh, grouping together. <coughs> 